Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Lentangan from Techno Buffalo, and today we'll be showing you how to install Windows 10 on a Mac via Bootcamp. Bootcamp will essentially allow you to use any Intel-based Mac to dual boot into Windows, which means you have the option to either boot in Windows or Mac each time you turn on the computer. Now, before we get started, we're going to need two things. We're going to need a Mac, obviously, and a thumb drive with at least 5 gigabytes of free space. Now, if you're planning to use Windows 10 for more than 30 days on your Mac, you do need to buy a license key, which I know is a bit of a hassle, but you can easily purchase a license key directly from Microsoft for $120, and we'll leave the link in the description below in case you're looking to purchase one for yourself. Step one, we need to head on over to Microsoft software download page to download the Windows 10 ISO file. Choose Windows 10 from the drop-down menu, hit confirm, and choose your language. After confirming your language, you can choose to download either a 32-bit version or a 64-bit version. We recommend going with a 64-bit version, but if your system is running a 32-bit version, then go ahead and go with that one. Step two, we need to move the Windows 10 ISO file from our downloads folder to our desktop, and once that's done, plug in your flash drive and make sure no other external drives are plugged in on the Mac to avoid problems. Step three, run Boot Camp Assistant under Applications inside the Utilities folder, or you can quickly search for it using Spotlight. Next, we need to check all three tasks, create a Windows 8 or later install disk, download the latest Windows support from Apple, and install Windows 8 or later. Step four, if you have moved the Windows 10 ISO file to your Mac's desktop, the ISO file will automatically be located and selected. But if you place it elsewhere, you may need to click on Choose and locate the file manually. As for the destination disk, the flash drive will be automatically chosen as the install disk if it's the only flash drive plugged in. And once that's done, hit continue and we can choose the partition size for Windows 10. If you're looking to use Windows 10 for a while and want to experience the new OS as a whole, you may want to leave extra space for any data or software you plan on installing. Windows 10 requires at least 20 gigabytes to install, so make sure you pick the right partition size for Windows because you can't change this later on. Once that's done, click on install and it'll start partitioning the Mac's drive and we'll restart your Mac. The Mac will automatically boot up from the flash drive and start the Windows setup process. If your Mac doesn't boot from the flash drive, just restart it again and hold down the option key after the boot up sound and then choose to boot from the flash drive. Step five, the installer will prompt you to enter your Windows 10 product key. Now don't worry, if you don't have a key yet, you'll be able to skip this part and continue with the install process. After agreeing to Microsoft's terms and conditions and confirming what Windows edition you want to install, the installer will ask you where you want to install Windows. Make sure to select the partition that has the label Boot Camp. Now this is the partition we want to install Windows 10 on. Click on that particular partition, select format, click OK, and hit next. You should now see Windows installing files and updates, and this process should take about 20 minutes or so depending on how beefy your Mac is. After that, your Mac will boot up with Windows 10, and you'll have to go through the normal steps of setting up a new Windows computer. Step six, when you first log into Windows, you should see a Boot Camp installation message pop up. Click next and follow the rest of the installation, reboot your Mac, and that's it. If you somehow don't see the Boot Camp message pop up, you can simply open up the flash drive and launch the setup file inside the Boot Camp folder. If you want to manually select which OS to run during startup, you can hold down the option key and select which one you want to boot into, then press enter. If you want to set which OS to boot up as default, you can set that option under the Boot Camp control panel. Windows 10 is a free upgrade for qualified Windows 7 and 8.1 users for the first year, and if you want to learn more about Windows 10, we've actually done a few videos on our channel showcasing some of the newer features in Windows 10, such as the new Start Menu, Cortana, Action Center, and Microsoft's newest web browser, Edge. So if you guys want to watch those videos, you can check them out over here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.